Let's discuss ActiveHDL's code coverage features. Why do we need code coverage? With the growing complexity of FPGA designs, testing becomes more and more difficult. Identifying corner cases that were not executed, for instance, in the use of if and case statements, would not be an obvious task for an engineer. These can be troublesome once these cases show up on random testing. Code coverage analysis is a useful source of metric that analyzes code execution and can help us determine the completeness of the verification effort. Code coverage analysis can provide several different types of information related to the verification process of your design. ActiveHDL offers the following coverage tools. Under code coverage, statement coverage shows execution branches for each HDL statement. It tells which parts of the design were verified and which are untested. Branch coverage collects execution branches for the if and case as well as conditional assignment statements. Path coverage collects information about the execution of program paths and sequences of program execution. Expression coverage factorizes logical expressions and monitors them during simulation. Assertion coverage is a type of functional coverage that defines how many of the specified properties have been covered. Lastly, toggle coverage measures design activity in terms of changes in signal logic values. For us to be able to collect code coverage data, we must ensure that we are collecting debug data on compilation. Go to Design, Settings. Under Compilation, enable the debug in the language that you are using. ActiveHDL supports unified coverage interoperability standards set by Accelera for coverage database. Under Coverage Profiler, select ACDB Coverage and check the types of coverage data that you would like to collect. Note that you may also modify additional parameters for the type of coverage data that you want to collect. For instance, you may choose to collect code coverage data for all units or for specific units. You may also change how expression coverage evaluates expressions. And lastly, you can specify how toggle coverage determines the toggled signal. Once satisfied with the settings, click OK. After the settings have been changed, simulation can then be started to start collecting coverage data. Another method of collecting code coverage data is through scripts. Let us open up a sample script. In the scripts, we do some modifications to the commands. In the compilation command, we add the dash dbg switch followed by the dash coverage switch with a type of coverage data as an argument. SBECA stands for statement branch, expression, conditional, and assertion. In the simulation command, we add a dash acdb switch to enable code coverage collection followed by the dash acdb underscore cov with a type of coverage data as an argument followed by the dash acdb underscore file with the output file as an argument. Additional switches may also be required depending on the type of simulation data. In this example, we have added dash exe space control to specify the mode of evaluating expressions. Simulation can then be initialized and run to start collecting coverage data. After simulation ends, console will specify that the output file has been created and that the coverage session has ended. Coverage results are stored in an ACDB format and cannot be viewed unless converted to text or HTML format. To do this, we run the ACDB report command, followed by the dash DB switch with the input file as the argument, followed by the dash COV switch, followed by the type of coverage data that we would like in our output file. We also add a dash HTML to produce the output HTML format, and the dash O followed by the output file. The HTML coverage report can then be viewed in any internet browser. Different types of coverage data can then be viewed for specific components in the hierarchy. Summarized or detailed results can then be viewed for each report. For example, in viewing detailed statement coverage report for the control unit, the report will show us the lines that were executed highlighted in green and the lines that were not executed highlighted in red. It will also specify the number of times that the code has been executed. In-depth details can also be viewed in the branch and expression coverage tabs. Additional data are also available in the toggle coverage as well as in the assertion coverage. In conclusion, now that we know the type of coverage data that code coverage can produce, 
we can then integrate this metric into our own verification effort to give our verification plan more confidence. We also know that different types of code coverage shows different types of results. The results of code coverage allows verification engineers to steer their verification to the right path by modifying the stimulus of the test bench to cover test cases that may not have been covered. Lastly, code coverage reveals possible flaws that would not have been easy to see. Feel free to reach us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.